Hey YouTube, I picked up a lot of new horror movie stuff, and then I also picked up a couple other movies that aren't necessarily horror movies. Um, but like I said in a couple other videos, I want to start showing off the rest of my collection, which is over there if you can see it. Um, and uh, so I picked up a couple sci-fi movies and action movies and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I picked up in the past week or two. And I know I'm forgetting a couple titles on the shelves, but I just pick up so much that... I don't remember what's new anymore and what's old. Um, but I'm going to start off with The Tooth the tooth Fairy. Um, no, not the crappy movie with The Rock. Uh, this right here came with a cool little slip cover. Um, I watched this movie the other day and I thought it was awesome. Very gory. And uh, um, I think it's also very underrated because I never heard of it before until I saw it the other day. I picked it up, watched it. I was like, wow. Um... So if you guys haven't seen this, definitely check it out. The Tooth Fairy. Um, and I might have shown you guys this before. I just picked up The Grudge 2. I've never seen the first Grudge. Um, but this also has the slip cover. And uh, I'm too scared to watch these alone. So I won't be watching these alone anytime soon. Um, next up, I picked up Vampires by John Carpenters. I've never seen this. I never heard of it before until I watched somebody's video on here. I can't remember whose it was. Um, but he started talking about the whole Vampire Trilogy, and I never heard of it before, and then I saw this, had to have it, so picked that up. Um, and then next up, I know I showed this to you guys before, um, but I picked up another copy of it, is uh, the remake of Sorority Row, um, with the slipcover, and I picked it up with only like a dollar. So, I was like, eh, what the heck, pretty cool. And plus, the case I had for that one was all trash and whatnot, so picked this up and very happy with that. Thought it was a pretty decent movie. Um, another movie I picked up is called Killer Instinct. I've never seen this before. I'm not exactly sure if it's a horror movie. Um, it has D. Wall of Stone from Critters and the Howling and uh, she was also in E.T. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, Nice, but she's in this. If anybody's seen this, do you guys know if this is a horror movie? I think it is. It looks like it. And I mean, you know, all the skeletons and whatnot. How can it not be? Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think about this movie. Um, next up is Mortuary. I saw this maybe a year ago. I don't remember much about it. I think it was an okay movie when I saw it. But, um, and I wasn't planning on buying it, but whenever I go to these shops and I see these movies for like one, two dollars, um, and I get them in these cool little deals, I decided to pick it up. Um, so yeah, there's Mortuary by Toby Hooper. And then next up, I thought this was really cheap, um, is Near Dark, is a two-disc collector set. Um, I don't think this is a limited copy run, but, uh, you can see it's got all these special features, and uh, I'll quickly show it to you when you open it up. It's got like all this stuff going on, and yeah, open up in there, and then it's got a little booklet in here. Um, I always like buying DVDs when they have booklets. They should go back to doing that because I know they stopped doing it recently, and I don't know why. That definitely adds to um, the collector's value. I think because people always get them lost. Um, another movie I picked up is called. Jack O' Lantern. I've never heard this movie before. Um, I don't know if I showed this one to you before. Um, anyways, just picked this up and uh, I watched it the other day and it's really stupid until the end. It's kind of cool at the end because then you actually see the monster. When you watch the trailer and you know, like read the back, you think it's just a random person, but no, there is a really cool monster going around killing people. Um, I started to doze off sort of towards the middle and end, so I didn't really know why the monster was there or whatever. But, um, I don't know, check it out if you're interested in it. It's kind of cool. It, it, this movie should almost be called Pumpkinhead because the monster had a pumpkin on his head. I'm like, Pumpkinhead is just a weird ass looking whatever. Next, I picked up the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street on DVD. I know I have this on Blu ray, but I like to add to my collection the DVDs, so I picked this up. It was only $2, and I mean, some like brand new shape, so, you know, I figured it looked pretty cool on the shelf and picked that up. Um, next movie I picked up was called Pumpkin Carver. I have it in the spindle over there, but then I saw this and it was really cool, so 
Set for a dollar, I'll grab it so then I can put it on the shelf and get rid of some of the DVDs and spindle and get into friends or whatever. Um, so I picked that up and uh, really cool looking case, looks cool on the shelf. If you guys haven't seen this movie, check it out. I really liked it when I saw it. Um, so yeah, check that out. And next up is the Fangoria Fright Fest uh, movie, Pig Hunt. I've only seen this one movie in the series. I think it was called Dark House. Um, I thought it was really cool, though. Uh, so I'm looking forward to watching this one. And I'd like to get the rest in the series. But there's that. And then next up is the remake of Nosferatu called Shadow of the Vampire. I have not seen the original Nosferatu. I want to. It's really creepy. And I saw this, so I picked this up. And, uh, looks pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to watching that. And now, the next movies I'm about to show you aren't horror movies. I've never seen the first thing I'm about to show you. So, people say it's a horror movie. People say it's sci-fi. I watched the trailer. It looked more like a science fiction horror movie, but... I don't really classify Alien as a horror movie, so I'm just going to put this over with the science fiction stuff. But it is the Chronicles of Riddick trilogy. Uh, I picked this up for about $2. It's got this little thing. And, uh, you know, this comes out on the disc center in there. And that would be my phone going off. But, uh, I have not seen any of these movies before. I've always heard good things about them, so I'm like, yeah, maybe it's time to finally buy them. So, uh, there's that. And then, I already have these on regular DVD over there on the back and shelf, but I saw these the other day for $2 a piece, so I decided to pick up the extended edition of The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship in the Ring, and The Two Towers. I'm still looking for Return of the King. The other day, right after I bought these, I saw the box set with all three of them, um, and this other shop, it was about $15, so I asked the guy if I could return them. And whatever, so he said yes. So I go to the shop to return them, and somebody bought it right before me. So I only have these two. If anybody has um, the extended edition of uh, Return of the King and you're looking to sell it or just get rid of it or whatever, um, let me know because I'd really like to complete the set. Because um, these are really cool and I like the Lord of the Rings a lot. And, uh, anyways, yeah, that's about. It for all the new stuff I picked up. I haven't picked up any new Blu-rays or uh, old VHS tapes. Um, I'm scanning my shelf. I have picked up a, a couple more DVDs, but um, like uh, I picked up Cujo, picked up the remake of Children of the Corn, I picked up Joyride. I know I already have those up there, but the cases, like I made my own cases for them, so I decided to buy the real thing. Um, so I didn't want to show you guys those again, but um. Pick up a lot of stuff, and, uh, yeah, well, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll be putting up another video maybe next week. Um, hopefully I'll get a lot more stuff. I have a lot of finals to, uh, study for, so I won't be able to go out and buy as much stuff as I'd like to. But, um, anyways, thanks for watching. Rock on.